Welcome everyone to Real Terms for AI on the road. We're here today with Chris Overholt, developer advocate for Google Cloud. Chris, this is all about agents, but for software engineers. Yes. First thing, what's that aha moment when you're starting to build agents? Yes. That makes it relatively relatable for software engineers in that? That's a great question. So you got to pick the right thing. Pick two or three components. Not one, it's too simple. Not 10, pick two or three. Okay. Give your agent a good model, like Gemini 2.5 Pro, it's great. Uh, give it some good tools, like rounding, and throw in something there like storage, long-term storage. You do that, you're gonna come out, you're gonna win with two or three, no more. And with that, you'll have your own proof of concept that like, hey, I can build my own system. And then you add another one, another one. So my hello world was an agent with long-term memory that can Google stuff, because that's what I do for a living. Okay, so, I got one. Yes. So, that was awesome. Let's make it a little simpler. I like simple. What's an agent? An agent is a program. I'm, I'm, you said software engineer. You, and I hang out together. you said software engineer. So okay, I say it's a program with jobs, so. Okay, program, we're in the same universe, yeah. Okay. Realistically, it's a program, it probably has loops, it probably has control flow, things like that. That's it. I'll leave it at that. I don't okay. want to get into goals and all this. It's a program that has loops. Let's take it a different direction. Okay. Share your thoughts on yes. vibe coding. You know, I've never been at a, this is the first time at a conference where I vibe coded the content for the conference the day of. And we're, so here's the thing, but we're not just vibe coding, right? We have different segments. Okay. We have web devs, we have Python devs, we have vibe coders. So when I put that hat on and I hit 2.5 Pro, here's what I will say. Okay. Get a strong backend. Just any, it takes one request and vibe code your front end. Problem solved. Oh. Hey, you beautiful I, agent. I'm doing it's that with agent in action. I'm right? doing that with Vue. I'm learning Vue on demand. There you go. Uh, you? Yeah. All right. So last question here for yes. Chris. Yes. I saw something about evaluation. So let's talk about agentic evaluation. That's deep. Uh, how, how would we break this down, right? Because yes. it, it feels massive, it is, right? It's it like is. a big problem, but I know that we have ways to do this. Yes. Where's the first place to start? Explain like your five. Oh yeah, I got you. Evaluation. How well is my model performing over time? Okay. Or is this change good or bad, right? And so you can look at it of what is your metric? What are you measuring? Doesn't have to be perfect. Just pick something, please. And then as soon as you connect that feed loop, feedback loop back, to your agent, yeah. you will be smooth sailing. As long as that's disconnected, you have no feedback loop, you're sort of like just five agenting, right? So when you talk about agent evaluation, remember that all the layers underneath are model, reasoning, tools. So you can't evaluate an agent without evaluating those layers. I think that's the takeaway, right? And we have ways to do all this stuff. Yes. We post some links as well on the yes. YouTube channel for it. The more we learn, the easier we make, so you can just put those one-liners to production. Will you give us a happy prompting? Yes. Happy right. agenting. Oh, you're making it fancy. All right, happy prompting on three. Yes. One, two, three, happy, happy prompting. prompting.